Bauer is live with the message experts are sharing tonight. I'm live here at the Hemin Singh Center at Gonzaga tonight, where health and climate experts just took the stage to talk about how these issues are connected. They say it's extremely important to have these conversations now to keep us all healthy and safe in the future. Whether it's wind, fire, smoke, or flooding, we all feel it when severe weather devastates our community. People are displaced from their communities and their homes due to a lot of these impacts of climate change. And all of these indirect impacts of climate change have health effects, asthma, mental health impacts from stress or displacement. Amber Lenhart says climate change has effects we can see early on, like bad air quality for longer periods of time and more severe weather. It also has long lasting effects on our well-being. When you breathe in wildfire smoke, the effects that that has on your lungs, on your respiratory system, you're taking in particulate matter, chemicals, that all has an effect on your body. Which is why she says we all need to play a part in the growing issue by recycling, driving less, and using our voice to vote for policies that help the environment. These steps ensure our community can be resilient. What can we do about it? Where are there opportunities to intervene? Every single one of us has an important role in this issue. Bringing health and climate issues together to keep more people safe and healthy in the future. It's really critical that we're having this conversation now is so that we can protect our children and their children from some of these health implications of climate change. And if you weren't able to make it out to this event that's happening right now, they are live streaming it. We have a link up on KXLY.com if you want to check it out. Now, Gonzaga's Climate Center also has a lot of great resources and things to learn about regional climate issues in our area. Reporting live from Gonzaga tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. Esther, thank you. The First Alert weather team is committed to sharing information about the climate crisis. This week, we're joining ABC News and sharing how it impacts our daily lives. From the challenges for farmers, to the growing threat of wildfires, to the very mountains and waters we spend time in, our weather team explores it all, all day Thursday on 4 News Now and KXLY.com. It is going to be a cold start to the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the teens.